Hello, the Darkness 344 here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you this which I created, which is a basic way to input numbers to a display from like one of your nine input button panels or, or whatever input you want. So, like on a calculator, you have like nine buttons, of course, you also have zero, so 10 buttons technically, and then you have your display. So, so I wanted to input five, I could input five. But then say I wanted to write the number 50, well logically that isn't actually that hard to do because as long as everything is um, done in binary coded decimal um, before you input it into the actual calculator or whatever you're building, then you can uh, display it quite easily. So if I wanted to add a zero to this to shift the five uh, by one decimal place so it now represents 50, well I can do that very simply. As you can see, five now turns into 50. And I can do 500 and say, um, I think that's one. There we go, 501. And of course we can reset it all too. So the way this is done is actually very simple. Over here we have the nine button, well, 10 button input panel and also a reset line. So this looks kind of complicated, but it's actually relatively simple. The basically, all of um, this section just breaks it out into individual lines. So as we can have, we have one through 10, well, so zero through nine even. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 lines. And each of these lines, say for number one, will um, come out here, go along here and output here, will decode um, your well, encode your input into a binary coded decimal. So we have one, two, four, and eight. And then these two lines, this one's the reset line, and this line is an additional line, which I'll talk about in a minute when we go to the actual bit shifting. So these four lines are in binary coded decimal. These lines are in decimal. So decimal to binary coded decimal. And that's very simple. This looks very complex. And if you want it to be a bit simpler, like with if you're struggling to make a nine input button panel you can always use one of these like this one well actually that's a bad example this one over here which as you can see uses the comparator uh, output of the, the strength of the redstone signal and we'll just decode it over here and i think this is called a red coder over here as you can see one and nine and this is just a slightly more compact and nicer way of doing this over here and of course, these would go, um, trans you translate these into binary coded decimal, you'd encode them. So over here, then we have these additional two lines, the reset line, which I'll talk about, and this line over here. Every single input over here also triggers this extra line here. And the reason that is, is to say that an input has been sent. And this is only because, say you click the number zero, right? As you can see, it, it, it just doesn't input anything and ask as well it's inputting zero but your display actually has to recognize that it's still inputting zero so you also send an additional pulse with each number to tell the display there's actually a number in incoming and then of course you just have to make sure that it's in sync with your display circuitry and the way we basically um, shift these numbers in place value is uh, by using these just one-way shift registers like this and whenever you well shift or input a number it will just activate the shift registers which will shift by one place over and then of course because binary coded decimal if you haven't really understood that i'd recommend like going watching a few videos on it but the basis is that we have so for this first display the binary coded decimal values are one two, four, and eight. But then for the second display, then the binary coded decimals become 10, 20, 40, and 80. And well, you kind of get the pattern. The third one will be 100, 200, 400, and of course, 800. And then you can of course continue this as long as you want. It's just, well, it will make it a bit slower the longer you get, but it's you can basically have as much as you want. And then these binary code to decimal values go down just these 
here into this uh, very slow but basic um, decoder which decodes the binary code to decimal back into decimal so as you can see so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way up to 9 because that's what um, f the binary code decimal for 4 bits of it can represent 0 to 9 and then of course we can uh, take these and then encode it into well the 7 segment display um, segments to display our numbers so as you can see we have 0 inputting on here which will trigger these torches and these torches basically correspond to the segment or pixel uh, on your display to display your number so it's, it's a very basic um, display concept these ones are kind of large there's much smaller versions I think I've shown them on my channel before smaller versions of course as well but um, so I'm not really gonna cover these like how to build them because there's so many videos already I might do one in the future where if I can come up with a smaller version but loads of people have done these in the past just search up like a binary coded decimal display or some or just even just a normal display because it's very simple to encode by just a normal um, four uh, bits of binary is basically the same as four bits of binary coded decimal as long as you know the place value it should just still um, be compatible so the way to basically make one of these is of course you just need your input which is as simple as what I've done here as well as an extra wire for saying that there's an input then over here we have a basic um, pulse generator which two tick pulse technically you could do this with a one tick pulse but all this does is make sure the shift registers turn off for two ticks and then turn back on and this is enough time for the numbers that you've inputted um, to shift one place over you could of course do this with one tick or four ticks or however many ticks you want I just cho chose two ticks as the simplest for the design I made and this is the reset wire which also as you can see it bypasses the two tick um, pulse and instead just does a well in this case since it's a stone button it does a 10 tick pulse which is uh, enough time for all of these um, to clear because it'll just run through and clear them all another way of course is you can just block the line like this but then of course the shift register design itself very simple just a standard repeater lock design so I'm sure it'll be very easy to make I'm pretty sure Matt Batwings has also done a video on these sort of stuff so I'd recommend checking his channel out because he definitely has a lot of content covering these types of displays. So yeah, I hope you like this simple showcase. A, a world download will be out in the description below. And of course, this will also be here, which is just the display driver that I use. Just, let's break a few bits. It's just a very simple version and it's also tileable. So if you say you're using world edit or something, um, all you have to do is like just come down here like this and let's actually set the first position there and you can stack it along like this so in line with this one and that should just be able to stack and it should just work you might need to add an additional one of these at the beginning here because that's what I had to do with that one but you can do like you can just stack it this way or whatever way you want and it should just work as a simple display so if you wanted that that's also a thing you can get but yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'm out